Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And Rakal Kodash is the Holy Spirit. We're uh, also going to give double honors to our apostles and our elders at Great Millstone. And salutations to all the Akim out there who will push his word in all truth and all sincerity. And we're going to get into another lesson today. And it's another installment of America is Falling. And we're going to get this article here um, that was uh, actually posted yesterday uh, on RT. And it's entitled, Europe to Ditch U.S. Dollar in Payments for Iranian Oil. And as time progresses, you're seeing how America's allies are slowly turning their back uh, 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 to them, okay? Um, the allies aren't, you know, they're, they're not, um, uh, in agreement with America anymore. There's a lot of, uh, a division amongst them. And the reason why, um, uh, their allies are siding with America's, uh, so-called enemies is because, uh, basically because of economic, uh, uh, ties and deals and they're uh, they're they're benefiting off of these ties and, and deals, okay? America uh, gives everyone the short end of the stick, and uh, everyone is tired of it now. They don't want to uh, you know lose out on money because uh, America basically charges Europe an extra like fifty percent, roughly, okay, in uh, uh, oil uh, in this oil trade. If uh, 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 the European Union goes through uh, Russia and Iran and all that, they save uh, 50% roughly. All right? And that, that's a huge number, man. You know? So they they want uh, that, that cheaper uh, oil. They don't want to, you know, uh, pay that price, man. All right? Mm. You want me to get a scripture? I, I got one. Yeah, all right, home. Yeah, oh, what is it? Uh? Jeremiah 51 and 7. All right. Um, Jeremiah... 51 and 7, you said? Right. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Alright, um, this is Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Yeah, the, uh, yeah once upon a time, uh, America was that, that place where uh, it was that, that great superpower, especially like, you know, uh, going back for the 60s, that's when, you know, America was at the height of its power. And then, like I said, it was the golden cup. It was that it was that place that the Lord was using to make make great man. It was known it was known as, as a as a, as a city paved with uh, streets of gold. Even though that that shit was a bunch of bullshit, it was it was it was rumored that it was great man. The Lord was using this place to build it up just to bring it down. Go ahead. Con it says, the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, they, they all these nations got in bed with America, man. They got in bed with the whore, and uh, they thought that they was making profit off of it. And uh, you know, like I said, this is this is the merchant city, man. It come, they come to find out the shit they broke. It's like it was like, oh yeah, man. They was thirsty. It was like a, had the tongue out and everything. Like, ah, we better get this money. We about to get it. What the fuck is this shit? It, it, it's nothing. This is this is what is this? This is this is fucking fuel for fire, man. This is this is worthless, you know. Like so, it says. Therefore, the nations are mad, man. They 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 fucking snapped. Like this this is bullshit. We we might as well trade with each other, man. And that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, and you know, in times past, man, America was able to like basically bully everybody too, and um, you know, basically force, you know, their uh, um, you know, their democracy, their U.S. De uh, petrodollar. Upon these nations, and they couldn't really do anything about it. But now, the times uh, have changed. We're in a different time era now, where everyone has, you know, a uh, nuclear capability. So pretty much, America is not that big, uh, bad bully anymore. All right, and, they, and the United States ha has to do things carefully, and, uh, and these other nations, they're just tired. Of America giving them the short end of the stick, man. They're tired of it. They're tired of uh, getting, you know, screwed out of, you know, deals and all that, okay? They don't want to, uh, 
you know, um, you know, uh, lose out. It, it, they want to benefit, man. All right. Um, let me get a quick scripture though. I want to get this Obadiah real quick. Yeah. Uh, while you're getting that, and like you said, uh, that Esau has nuclear capabilities now. Uh, I mean, not Esau has, but these other nations they have. Esau still thinks that they can kind of try to bully people, but and then and to not having nukes. When America is the only nation that's been recorded of actually dropping any type of nuclear uh, bomb on any nation, man, on any other nation, far as war, man. But yet they want to, they want to try to stop everybody else, man. But that just goes to show you that's that's another reason why all these nations are gonna band together and be like, you know what, you the problem. Yeah, this is Obadiah, first chapter seven verse. All the men of con of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no understanding in him. And uh, th that's what you're seeing. The men that were at peace with America, they're deceiving America. All right? They're not really uh, in league with them anymore. Mm. You know, as this uh, article we're about to, you know, get into, the European Union is buying Iranian oil. And they're not even using the U.S. dollar anymore, man. Okay? That just shows you that uh, that America's allies are, are coming against them. And Esau's kingdom, the so-called white man's kingdom, it is divided, man. That's right. It's divided. Uh, do you want me to get a scripture before I read the, uh, the article? Uh, do you want me to get what you had? I did. I, uh, Psalm 7, 75 and 7. All right. Psalm Real 75 quick. and 7. Psalms 75, and you said 7, right? Yeah. This is Psalm 75. I'll start up. Uh, let me, uh, yeah, yeah, cause, uh, let me start at 6. America, you're no longer that, that, uh, the big bully on the block, man. You're not that, the big badass on the block no more. These niggas been lifting weight. <laughs> they got guns, too. They gonna fuck this place up. That's right. right. Psalm 75 and 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But the Most High is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. That's right, man. The Lord is about to, he's, he's about to put this place down, man. It says, uh, for promotion coming now, it's, it's all of the Lord. The Lord built this place up just so that he can bring it down, man. So it's not going to be in that, that great power again, man. Like, like y'all really think America is going to make a comeback and it's just in a bad time? It's just like... You know, it's not gonna. It's not even gonna get down to a worse, to to a, a, a sour economy like Russia, because Russia, they 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 really uh aren't uh they don't have a strong currency either, man. None of these nations really do. But America's about to fall below them, man, until it's destroyed. It's not gonna be like a, just a poor country is just sitting dormant in the back. No, the Lord's about to get rid of this bitch, man. At first, he's just destroying it financially. That's how much the Lord hates this place, man. That's it, though. Um, I must uh, read a little bit of this article now. It says, Europe to ditch U.S. dollar in payments for Iranian oil. The European Union is planning to switch payments to the euro for its oil purchases from Iran. Eliminating U.S. dollar transactions, a diplomatic source told RIA uh, Nova, Nova, Novosti. And, um... Pretty much what's going to happen then is the uh, whatever European nations that use the uh, U.S. petrodollar, they're going to uh, send those U.S. petrodollars back to America, and that's going to create hyperinflation. So you're going to have, you know, let's say gas, right? It's roughly, let's just say more or less $3.00. Gas is going to just end up being like $20, $25 a gallon, all right, when all these nations just start shooting the uh, U.S. petrodollar back over here, man, if not more, all right? And that's obviously going to cr uh, create job losses, riots, food riots, you know, chaos is going to uh, break loose, man, all right? That's what's going to happen. For you proud Americans, the dollar has to circulate in other countries because it's weak as hell here, man. It, it has to circulate outside this place. Yeah, and the only thing that's keeping the American economy afloat is really uh, uh, these other nations using the U.S. petrodollar. Because this place 
doesn't have any exports like that. No, it it's all imports. All right. And basic, you know, uh, uh, economics 101 tells you if you have more uh, imports and exports, your economy is going to fail, man. That's how, that's how America fucked us up. And that's how, so like it. Just, just uh, real quick, and we're gonna hop back on. But that's how you know that Babylon the Great is America, man. It says that merchant city. Yeah. All America does is buy, man. It does. It, it, it mostly buys. It doesn't. It doesn't really sell many, uh, many much merchandise, man. It take. It does uh, more exports, like the brother said, man. That's right. And uh, uh, it reads: Brussels has been at odds with uh, Washington over the U.S. withdrawal from the uh, Iran nuclear deal which was reached during the administration of Barack Obama. President Donald Trump has pledged to reimpose sanctions against the Islamic Republic. Um, uh, it says, earlier this week, EU uh, Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini said that the uh, foreign ministers of UK, France, Germany, and Iran had agreed to work out practical solutions in response to Washington's move in the uh, next few weeks. And that's heavy, man, because those three particular uh, uh, EU uh, countries, they're heavy hitters, man. Heavy hitters, okay? And by them doing this, the rest of the European Union is going to follow, okay? Germany, uh, um, uh, who else? Uh, Spain, Italy, the uh, Netherlands, Finland, you know, so on and so forth, are gonna follow uh, 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 very soon, man. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna keep uh, reading. The bloc is reportedly planning to maintain and deepen economic ties with Iran, including in the area of oil and gas supplies. Mogherini stressed that the sides should jointly work on lifting of sanctions as an uh, integral. Uh, part of the historic nuclear deal We're not uh, naive And know it will be uh, difficult For all sides The uh, Iran nuclear deal Known as the Joint uh, Comprehensive Plan of Action Was sealed three years ago In Vienna Between uh, Tehran And the PF plus one powers China, France, Russia, UK US plus Germany The uh, agreement saw Decades Long international sanctions lifted in exchange for Iran curbing its controversial nuclear program. On January 2016, the parties to deal announced the beginning of its implement, uh, implement, uh, implementation. The lifting of international sanctions gave Iran access to the world's market for the first time in nearly four decades. Since then, Tehran has uh, manages, managed to significantly increase its uh, Exports of crude. However, oil is pegged to the U.S. dollar on the international market, making it difficult for Iran's partners to make payments for crude and for Tehran to receive them. And that's why these other nations, man, they're not dealing with America because, like I said earlier, they're getting the short end of the stick. And another thing, too, is America, the U.S. Uh, uh, petrodollar is not backed by anything, man. Right. You have these other nations uh, that want to use. You know, currency such as the the petrol you want because it's backed by gold. Okay. What about Fort Knox? Oh yeah. <laughs> the, the, the other nations they ask they asking for their gold back. Yep, that's right. And it says, uh, with the dollar playing the leading role on international financial markets, reimposing sanctions would mean cutting Iran off from the global financial system, and they don't want to do that because. They're going to get oil at a, a very good price from Iran, these uh, European uh, uh, countries. And that's why these European uh, 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 countries are now getting mad. And we're going to get that in Revelation, the 17th chapter, in a moment where it talks about how the beast and, and, and the uh, ten horns basically are going to hate the whore, man. Okay? You're seeing this happen right before your eyes. It's actually playing out right before us. These things are, are, are happening. We are living in some beautiful times. We're about to receive salvation. And the kingdom is about to be established very soon. I'm going to read this last paragraph. 
At the same time, dozens of contracts signed between European businesses and the Islamic Republic could be at risk of cancellation if Brussels obeys Washington sanctions. This would damage Iran's economy and European firms will lose a huge market in the Middle East. Switching to alternative settlement currencies allows both sides to continue trading despite U.S. US sanctions. And see, this is why this is all happening, man, because it's all about money, man. You mess with the man's money and you 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 know basically you mess with uh with how he puts a uh, a food you know on, on the table man it 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 changes the whole relationship man okay between people all right mm. and you're seeing these nations now getting upset man and they're tired of it and it's beautiful because it's all going to uh, all all these things that are happening it's ultimately going to lead to our salvation their kingdom is crumbling. Their their divisions are happening right before us. And it's really it's so so they can fight one another so we can get salvation, man. Which is beautiful. I'm going to get that real quick in Revelation 17, Ock. Um, this is Revelation 17. And I'll just start at 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, which that represents the, uh, the EU, which is the European Union. And the beast uh, represents NATO. These shall hate the whore, which the whore is America, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And how said at first, man, the ten horns, which uh, thou sawest upon the beast, they shall hate the whore. The Europe it, it has been frustrated with America for quite some time now, especially the past like three, about three years, man. Have you been uh, paying attention diligently? Okay. They've been uh, 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 tired of America, man. And then the beast, which consists of you know a lot of the European nations, but also other nations, they're tired of America, such as Turkey. Th they recently were threatened with sanctions because they were buying uh, weapons weapons from Russia, and they said that they were going to retaliate. Uh, 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 um, they were going to retaliate uh, 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 if the U.S. did that, man. So you're seeing these things happen, man. All right? These nations are, are hating the whore, man. And eventually they're all going to uh, uh, team up together and just uh, uh, shoot nuclear missiles on this place. As the brother said earlier, man, they're all going to uh, look at America and say, you're the problem. That's right. You're the problem, and you need to be taken uh, out, man. Verse 17, For the Most High hath put it in their hearts to fulfill His will, and to agree, and to give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. And that's why all this is happening. So the Most High's words uh, uh, can be fulfilled. Alright? And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. And America does reign over all these uh, 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 kings, man. Alright? They reign over uh, uh, America, man. Or, I mean, uh, America reigns over these uh, other nations. They influence them. They've been, um, you know, bullying them into, you know, financial deals. They've been bullying them in into using their currency, into obeying democracy, so on and so forth. That's right. You uh, got a scripture? I do. Uh, what do you want me to get for you? Daniel 4 and 17. All right, Daniel. Yeah. Four and seventeen. Do you uh, want me to get anything else, like a uh, like a verse up or a verse down? <laughs> I was gonna say you could get sixty, cause it, like when you think about Esau, and you know that last. Uh, that last kind of the A's movie. Yeah, let's just get 17. Huh? You get 17. I was just looking yeah. for like the change. Yeah. Daniel 4 and 17. This yeah. matter okay. this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. Yeah, that's right, man. Lord, he, uh, you, you Edomites, 
you, you were the lowest uh the lowest nation the lord only did this to prove his power man he, he took a uh, he took you and made you this great nation I even mean, as pursuant to um to malachi was it the third chapter it's the third chapter where it says uh the uh, uh dense what it's it's third chapter right how's it go uh talking about esau edom first chapter third verse salaki yeah uh yeah well it goes into i believe it's the fourth verse where it says it says they shall build but i will throw down man it's it, every kingdom that esau has had in the past the lord has thrown it down man and it, it, what makes this one any different man is this, this is just the last one this is just the last one that's gonna have a grand finale man you know? Hey, where's that in Daniel's, where it talks about um, man, I think it's Daniel's too, with the ten toes and all that. Yeah, you know where that's at? It should be two. Should be two. two and what though? Do you know where it's at? Uh, Salakia. Daniel two thirty three. You can try that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start it. Uh. I'll start at 32, though. Kind of go through this quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll go through this kind of quick, though. Um, it's a lock. I don't even know where I'm... Yeah, I'm going to start with yeah. This is Daniel's uh, 10 and... Uh, yeah, there we go. That's what we'll do. This is Daniel's uh, 2 and 32. This image head was a fine gold. His breast and his arms were silver. His belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. And the uh, the gold part was talking about the Babylonian kingdom, okay? And the silver part is uh, talking about the Medo Persian Empire. And the belly and his thighs, uh, his belly and, and the thighs, which were made of brass, that's talking about the uh, Greek Empire. And the last part. Which it talks about his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. That's talking about the uh, Roman Empire. And this is uh, the Roman Empire 2.0. All right. What is that? Uh, I forget where it's at. Where it talks about that. Uh, uh, where it talks about uh, the beast had that deadly wound. I think it The deadly wound that was healed. Yeah, it was healed. We don't have to get it, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Because I don't want to be paraphrasing it wrong. But basically. Like Revelation is 9. 11. Come, but basically, man, this kingdom got revived, man. All right, it got revived again because America does everything that, that Rome does, man. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break uh, the pieces. And that stone is talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is uh, uh, taking this place. Uh, Yahweh Bashim Shai is taking this place down, man. All right? Taking it down uh, morally, financially. You know, uh, uh, all, all, all the allies, man, are against each other. And Yahweh Shai is going to come back and just take this uh, entire uh, uh, system down, man. He's going, what was it saying, Revelation, man? He had uh, uh, many crowns on his head because he took down all these kingdoms, man. All right. Um. Salakia. Yeah. Salakia. Like those are those crowns are like heads of these kings, man. It's like going to the ancient world. You know how the uh, the, the the king would chop off the the ruler's head of uh of this nation, man. Or they they they'll do something like cut off his 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 toes. And his and his thumbs making him and just have him as a prisoner until he died, man. That's the type of conquering the Lord is about to do, man. Like he he's about to make a great name for himself, is what I'm trying to say, man. Come on. That he brought down these great kings. That's right. And uh, sh I only got one more scripture. I don't know if you have anything else. I got uh, Joel three, and uh, you can Come on. You read too much. Come on. Hey, that's perfect. Then I'll uh, jump to this Proverbs twenty one. Okay. Uh, what do you want? Joel 3 and what? Uh, you can start at 12. 12, all right. Uh, Joel 3 and 12. 
Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Yeah, man. Because uh, this is actually the time where the, the heathen are, are waking up. They're not coming back to Je It's not going to be like how it was in the, all the other world wars where I believe, what was it, uh, Britain was an enemy of uh, of America in the first world war. Then they got cool and all that. Nah. It's, even Britain is gonna turn their back on America, man. All these because it's, it's it's a part in the, it's a part of the EU. It's a part of those ten horns, man. It's it's gonna be they gonna they gonna turn first. It's starting off financially, and they already they already threatening each other with war, man. They're already threatening each other with war. So uh, yeah, what it said it says for uh, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Because that's gonna be that's that's when they about to go to war and the Lord's gonna come back and then they go try to fight him and then the Lord's gonna fuck them up. Yeah, and they're all gathering in the Middle East. That's why there's so much tension, there's so much friction, there's so much uh uh there's so much uh, action going on in the Middle East right now. That's why uh every time you uh you know, every day you uh, you know, uh, pull up your you know news articles. There's always something in the Middle East, always something that's happening in the Middle East, and that's because the Lord is gonna judge them in that area, man. Okay, the heathen are gonna get judged in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Yahweh Shapat, you know, Yahweh's judgment. All right. Can you read verse thirteen? All right, uh, thirteen, uh, verse thirteen. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come. Get ye down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. And the wickedness is rising, man. All the shit that, that, that's going on in America, that, is, that the West has spread to the East. That's why the Lord, hey, man, the fact that it spread to the East is a show that the Lord is about to come back, man. Because it's just like, just how the truth is spread all, all throughout the four corners of the earth. This wickedness of these of these damn heathens it is really gotten strong. Because it's it even, uh, even, it was certain shit that, certain wickedness that even these, these heathens that were in the Middle East wouldn't do. But now they doing it and it's spreading over to them and they not fucking with it, man. They not fucking with it. The Lord is, is about to utterly fuck this bitch up, man. The, them fucking UN troops about to fucking rape the shit out of America. The Lord's going to obliterate this place. And then you have your World War Three going on over there, man. The Lord is doing a great and mighty work right now. And then read that just that last part. Uh, 14. 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the Valley of Decision. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh, is near in the Valley of Decision. That's right. That's right, that's it, bro. Exactly. Hey, the, in the Valley of Decision is, is, is in the Middle East, man. You know, Syria, okay. Iran, Israel, you know, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, the, the Middle East, man. That's the valley of decision. And it's coming soon. And uh, we're going to end it off with this Proverbs 21. This is Proverbs 21. And one, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh. As rivers of water, he turneth it wheresoever he will. And exactly, the king's heart, which is talking about the mind, because the Hebrew word there uh, is uh, lab, which means mind, is in the hand of the Lord. All right? The Lord has these, uh, it, it basically is uh, working on these king's uh, uh, minds right now. And it's just going to keep intensifying until war breaks out. And, and everyone's gathered in that valley of Jehoshaphat, man. And the Lord's going to judge them there. All right. And when the Lord judges them, you know, destruction for them and salvation for us. That's right. You know? And, and you know, these are beautiful times. We're uh, seeing, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the, the end of this system, man. It, you know, it's about to happen. You know, we just got to be patient and hold fast, you know. And, uh, you know, hopefully that was an edifying lesson to those who are listening. And uh, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kodash. And um, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, out there. Shalom. Shalom.